What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to build this rooftop tent. Now this is what I've been calling the ultra budget build. I only spent a few hundred dollars on it. This is a really simple project that doesn't require many tools. And best of all, you don't have to know how to sew to do it. In my other rooftop tent build series, it required quite a bit of sewing. So for this one, I want it to be really cheap, really simple, and require zero sewing. So this is what I've come up with. So yeah, let's get into it. First thing we're gonna start with is showing you guys what all you're gonna need for this build. All right guys, this is just about everything that you're gonna need. I got all of it at Lowe's except the tent and the ladder, but I wanna go through it all, uh, explain it, tell you how much I spent. We got this three foot piece of uh, three sixteenths inch flat bar. That was about $9. This is a six foot piece of angle iron, three quarter inch angle iron. That was about $15. We got this super strut, uh, spent $20 on that, it's about 10 foot long. We'll be using this to mount the tent to the roof rack. I got these nine two and a half inch bolts. These are 5 16, 18, two and a half inches. And then I got these smaller number 10, three quarter inch screws. We're gonna use these to attach the super strut to, the, to our base and then the ladder is crucial to the build. You're gonna need a ladder like this. Um, now, I didn't purchase this. I've already had it, um, but I think you can, I found these on Walmart, uh, a 10 foot ladder for about 60 bucks, 60 to 80 bucks. You can get a ladder. And then the tent I got from Target. Um, this is one of those like cheap pop-up tents. Uh, I spent $35 on that, which is a great build. I'll explain more about the tent uh, in a little bit but yeah that's that's pretty much it the things I, I can think of that I'm probably gonna need I'm gonna need to seal the wood um, this is untreated plywood so we're gonna need to seal that up to protect it and then the last thing that we'll need is some type of cover and once this thing is folded up on top of the car we're gonna need some type of uh, waterproof cover that covers everything up when we're traveling around all right I quickly want to talk about the tent and why we chose it for this build there's several reasons that this tent is like really perfect for this. The first reason is really cheap. I bought it for $35 uh, from Target. They've discontinued it, but you can still buy it. You can look on eBay. I think Home Depot sells it too for about 50 or 60 bucks. You can still find this tent. The second is that I didn't want people to have to sew to be able to build this. So this is perfect. All your, all your doors, your zippers, your vents, mosquito netting, it's all there. It's perfect. Third reason is that it fits the dimensions perfectly. You could probably get away with using a single sheet of plywood, just cut it right in half. And I think that would work. Although I wanted to maximize my floor space, so I ended up doing two pieces of plywood um, that I cut down to 52 by 44 inches. And the fourth reason is that the tent opening is on this side. A lot of two and three person tents that you look for, they have the entrance on this side. It was really, really tough to find a tent that had the entrance on this side. The reason you need that is because your ladder is, is supporting this overhang. So if your opening is over here on the side, it, it makes it really difficult to get inside your tent and pretty dangerous. Also, it makes your ladder useless. All right, with all that being said, I do want to mention some of the cons. This tent is only water resistant. It's not waterproof, and it doesn't come with the rain fly. So you're either going to need to make a rain fly for this setup or just not going out, go out in the rain. I'd almost like to disassemble this tent and use this as a template and make it out of something nicer because I like the design of it. If you can find a better tent that fits your dimensions, that has the entrance on the end, I would definitely go with that. Um, something that's higher quality and has a rain fly and all that. But anyway, with all that said, let's get into the project. We're gonna start by cutting down our plywood to size. All right, so let me show you how I built my, my metal hinges. Now, just Googling uh, about these hinges, I just came up with this basic shape. Um, it doesn't have to look exactly like this. Um, but the, the most important part is that this is gonna overlap. You'll have a, you'll have a hole drilled here. 
and the only part that really matters is is this gap down here you just don't want these two pieces to touch um, because they'll, they'll get in the way you know this is the tent open and then you'll open it up like this uh, or it'll close and it'll look like this. So you'll have about eight and a half inches here and here to fit your tent, your mattress, and all that inside. These are about four and a half inches tall and three inches wide. And the reason I got that is because I just had some three inch square tubing laying around. Um, so I'm gonna just transfer this over to this, this tubing. I'm gonna do this right here, this taller four and a half inch version. And then I'll add an extra inch down here um, that will bend upward to get the flange that we need. Um, so if I feel like eight and a half inches is too much, I'll either modify this or go to that shorter version. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just cut out this big rectangle. Actually, I need to add an inch down here for that flange. I'm glad I remembered that. So I'll bend there and that'll be my extra flange. Alright, that's what we got so far. I think this looks really good. We got our flanges. You just gotta remember the direction of your cuts. You get you know they gotta be a mirrored image so that it works right. If you cut two of these exactly the same, it's not gonna work. So you can see my little cutouts. I'll drill the hole here on, on both pieces. That's where it's gonna pivot, and that's where I was talking about. It's gonna overlap. That's what that's the point of that notch. And it actually looks really nice. I'm gonna cut out a little bit extra. Uh, you, you know, once these are flat, you just don't want those two pieces cutting. So this will actually do. I'm going to cut out another pair, and uh, then we'll get them cleaned up. We'll get all the rust off of them and uh, paint them up. But I think it looks really good. So the next thing to do is to drill our holes. I'm going to do two holes in each piece. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this to just a piece of scrap wood. I'm going to go ahead and mount it just how I would on the tent, just like that. Then I'll take this whole piece to the drill press and uh, drill my, my hole up top here. That way I know that it'll, it'll all line up like perfectly. Now I'm going to start working on the mounting system so that we can mount the tent to our roof rack. I'll start by cutting the super strut down to size. This is how you're going to attach your, your tent to your roof rack. So uh, this is the part where you're going to need that three foot piece of uh, 3 16 inch flat bar. Uh, so what I did, starting with these smaller pieces underneath here, was I cut eight pieces 
uh, the flat bar is an inch wide, so it's an inch by an inch and a quarter. And then I drilled a 5 16 inch hole in, it, in the center. And then I use my 5 16 inch bolt and nut, just put it through there, tighten it down. And then the reason I did that is just so when you slide it in here, it won't twist on you when you're trying to tighten it down. But it doesn't matter which direction you put it. It could have been a one inch square, and uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna slide at all. So then after our, after that, I just cut some pieces, um, some more three sixteen inch flat bar that uh, is five inches long, just to fit my roof rack. And, uh, and then I got these knobs, eight of those knobs. You can get these at Lowe's, and uh, everything just screws right together. So I'm gonna get all this put on, and then uh, we'll get our hinges in place, and then we'll test out our, our hinge system on the car. All right, we got the base flipped upside down. Um, I've already marked and drilled my holes, but I'll show you what I did. I just flipped it upside down so that I could easily and accurately mark the holes from the top side. Uh, so I'm about to get that all bolted in place. One other thing I'm going to do is I already put a little piece of angle iron on this end to help like strengthen that up. And then what else I'm going to do is here in the center, I'm going to use these pieces of angle iron. I'm gonna put them like this and this. This is just here to set my ladder on for the time being until I can get some brackets built for my ladder. But uh, the reason for these pieces of angle iron is just to help support that overhanging weight from underneath. And the reason they're, they're tilted like this is just so I didn't have to cut them down. I'm just kind of testing all this stuff right now. Um, that should help a lot, even though it's going to add some weight. It should help a ton in uh, keeping that, that overhanging section from bowing. So I'm going to get this bolted up, and then we'll get it put on the car. All right, so I have the, the tent all put back together after paint, and I'm working on how I want to attach the ladder to this overhang. I want to attach the ladder to the overhang where it can't just be easily removed, so this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking um, two stainless steel hinges mounted like that with removable pins, so if I want to use the, take the ladder off quickly, I still can, I just can just pull the pin out. Um, but I also want to, for the most part, I want to just keep it on, uh, like when, when the tent's in the closed position, like you see it now, I want to just leave the ladder up there. And then if I need to use a ladder in some other way, I can just pull the pins out and take it off. I'm going to get this all mounted up and uh, we'll test it out. All right, one little tiny thing that I didn't realize. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna need a spacer of some sort. If you open the tent and your ladder is like 90 degrees to the platform, this would work um, and that would mount flush, but we're actually gonna want the, the ladder to kind of kick out some and that creates this big gap here. So what we're gonna have to do is just get a spacer on each side to put under this, this hinge before screwing all the way through the overhang piece. So just one small thing, you know, the slider's gonna kick out some. These are just some of the small details you gotta think about. It's not gonna be straight up and down. Um, so yeah, I'll add a little spacer under there and I'll, we'll go from there.
Ow! Ah! You got the tent base mounted. I have some boards on this end just to kind of simulate the height of the tent once the bedding and the actual tent's in there. So now we're gonna open this thing up and see how that hinge works on the ladder. The great thing about the way this sets up is the ladder supports this overhang. That's why you need that ladder. It holds a lot of weight. Um, and then those supporting pieces that we put through here also help make this overhang um, really rigid. Now I originally wanted to keep the fiberglass rod in here that gives it that shape, um, but with the way the tent opens and closes, it doesn't really work right and it wants to break. So what I'm going to end up doing is cutting this rod out and then we're going to use uh, some half inch conduit to make some hoops in here so that when, the, when we open this tent up, everything opens and it's done. So we're going to do two things. We're going to cut this rod out real quick and then we're going to cut out the floor of the tent. It has like a tarp floor. Um, I'm going to cut that out so that we can mount it to the sides and overhang, um, mount it like overlapping this edge so that water doesn't get up underneath here and onto your bedding. So, so yeah, I'm about to cut this floor out and cut this rod out. All right, we've officially ruined the tent. Perfect. The next thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna, we're gonna take the tent off, but we're gonna make some conduit hoops, kinda like this. This is the little sample piece I made. Um, I have a really easy technique for bending conduit. I'll show you that in a minute. But what I did was, this is a 10 foot piece of conduit that I cut down to about 115 inches, so it's like five inches off or so. And then, I uh, kept these this section right here straight for like this is about 28 inches that I left straight on each side and that's where I started my bend. Um, this might be not exact for your build so just kind of measure the inside of the tent before you take the rods out to see how much of a hoop you're going to need. Um, so yeah this um, let me show you how to bend this real quick super easy. All you're going to need is your your half inch conduit. I've already marked mine at about 28 inches. This is where I'm gonna start my bend. I cut it down to 115 inch length. And so all you need, you need is your piece of conduit and then you need like a two by piece of wood and then cut a one inch hole in it. That's all you're gonna need, super easy. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your conduit and your piece of wood with your hole in it. You're gonna feed it through to that mark that you did. You're just going to use leverage to make a bend. You're going to pull it towards you and uh, just barely bend. And just work it about every inch or so and just slowly do it. Don't overdo it. You'll put a kink in it. If you just go slow, you won't kink it. And just keep going around until you get to your mark. And then you're going to go back the other way if you haven't bent it enough. You'll just go back the other direction and keep bending until you got the shape that you want.
Now that's pretty close actually right there. Now you can kind of look at it, see where it needs to make a bend and keep keep shaping it. I need to bend more over here, I think. Let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty good. It's got a little bit of a twist to it, but you can pull that out. That's perfect. All right, this is just just about perfect. Uh, we're gonna. What we'll end up doing is we'll flatten out. We'll um, clamp these ends flat so we can drill through them and uh, mount those to the hinges that I showed you earlier. We're gonna mount. Them. So, uh, so yeah, hope this is really helpful when it comes to bending conduit. All right, I got the hoops on here. I had to trim them up. I had to do one trim. They were about um, three inches too long the first time, which for me, when you close the hoop down, it's right there at the edge of the tent, which is perfect. You don't really, you don't want it to overhang any at all because we're gonna have a cover over this whole thing. So when these lay down, they should lay down like that not over like extend over that edge um, so yeah we're gonna I already have it attached on this end we're gonna pull it over attach it here and um, see if it, it fits nicely All right, check it out. It's starting to come together. This thing looks really good. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we need to tie these two hoops together, basically, uh, with the platform itself. This isn't really for structure, this is just for really just keeping your hoops at the right space so that when we open up the tent, the, the entire tent deploys all at one time without you having to adjust where your hoops are. So what we're gonna do is make sure you have your hoops where you want them. You're gonna drill your holes through your, through your conduit. We're gonna put two eye bolts in each corner and then I got some 3 16 cable from Lowe's. So run the cable from our eye bolt through our conduit and then down to this corner and then we'll do the same thing on this other side All right, got my eye bolts in place on at every corner, and then I got my holes drilled in my conduit. Now we're gonna attach all of it together with this 3 uh wire that I got from Lowe's. What we're gonna do is you're gonna use a wire, and then you're gonna pick up some packs of these, uh, ferrule and stops. You're gonna pick up a few of these. Um, this is the how you, these are the crimps basically that you're gonna put on the wire. Uh, you'll use these guys right here for the loops uh, on the eye bolts. You'll crimp that and then you'll crimp this on each side of your conduit to just to hold it in place on that wire here and here. So you're going to need several packs of these. These are like a dollar or two a piece. So. so yeah, let's get this threaded through and see how she works.
All right, now that we have it through our eye bolt, we need to take the other end of the cable, run one stop on our cable through one of these stoppers. See if I can get it through there. Run it through there and then run it through our conduit. Here we go. And then run our other stopper on the other side of that. There we go. Now we just need to crimp our stoppers on either side of the conduit right here and then we'll do the other side. Perfect. Now what I have to do is make the loop on this bottom corner right there. All right, we got all our cables in place. We're about to test this thing out. This is kind of the moment of truth to see if this is gonna work. All right, got the tent closed, kind of how it'll be. Um, we're about to test our those cables I just put in and make sure that all holds and the tent deploys properly. So uh, let's check it out. Right, guys that's about it for this video hope y'all have enjoyed it i worked really hard on this video so i hope this has helped somebody out or at least inspired you to get out and start your own build be sure to like this video it really helps the video do better also join us on facebook search diy rooftop tent community it's just a great resource for anybody that's this serious about building their own rooftop tent there's lots of people in there that have built their own rooftop tents that are willing to help out with any questions that you got but anyway i hope y'all have enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next video also check out our Teespring store. We got shirts with little trucks and rooftop tents and stickers and socks and all kinds of things. Go check it out.